was good up all is good so there's a reason why you need a car in germany so i always tell people once you arrive in germany make sure the first thing you're working on is getting your driving license once you get your driving license get a car a car is like your walking stick yeah you must have it in one way or the other but other people will tell you ah for me uh, because the driving license is very expensive i need like two thousand euro three thousand yeah to get just a mere a plastic card the that's they uh, they call it a driving license so for me i'm in germany for like uh, four years once i'm done with my studies or once uh, i have achieved some cash i'll move back to kenya <laughs> my friend we have chinese in germany japanese we have americans in germany they don't go back to their countries <laughs> for you you are telling me that you want to get money once you get money, now you can move back to your country. My friend, you are lying. You are lying. Oh. On the ground, things are different. You, can, uh, you can't even afford that uh, air ticket <laughs> in the first place. You are working, you are earning, you are paying bills, but you cannot afford an air ticket from Germany to Kenya because things are thick. Yeah. <laughs> so don't be lied like, ah, for me, I'm, I'll be in Germany. For... Why don't you come back? Yeah. We, people always talk. Someone will go to Germany like uh, in their twenties. Ah, me, I'm here for five years. Five years elapsed. Eh, yeah, ten years, ten years, fifteen, twenty. <laughs> Before you, you realize you are thirty years in Germany, you're doing nothing. But others are doing good because the choices they make. Yeah, you have choices and consequences. Yeah, if you don't do whatever is right, my friend. So you need a car. First of all. A car is very important because when you apply for jobs, it doesn't matter what job, kind of job. If you apply for any job in Germany, you, they'll ask you a Benzifura shine. Yeah? Do you have the driving license? <laughs> because other works, uh, jobs begin uh, very early in the morning, like 5. And in the, at 5 a.m., we don't have uh, buses that apply in other routes. Like when you're living in the village, the first bus comes at 5.02 or 5.17, or 5.32, or 5.47, yeah? So, you are supposed to be at work at 5 a.m., exactly, 5 a.m. in the morning, because you have to clean, like, offices, like, clean something like uh, glasses, before they come in. Now, imagine you don't have a car. How will you connect without a car? And imagine it's a, a cleaning job. They are requesting for a car. My friend, you need a car in Germany. And then another thing, uh, when you have a uh, driving license, you can do anything you want. Any type of job, you can do it. If you want this kind of job, you can get it. If you want delivery job, you can do it. Yeah. So you need a driving license in one way or the other. Because most of the jobs, you need a driving license to get it. Another thing, my friends, uh, during winter, <laughs> you're going to, uh, to work at 6 a.m., my friend, at 5 a.m. is very dark outside, yeah? And it's very, it's freezing, freezing, freezing outside. So you need a car so that you can move easily from one point to another before you freeze. <laughs> because you, you go at the bus station, you have to wait. Sometimes we have a, a storeroom, storeroom like um, uh, uh, the bus, they say that the bus has a, has a problem. So it will come. Instead of coming at 5.02 a.m. in the morning, now imagine you've woken up very early at 5.47 or 5.50. No, at 4.50 in the morning and so that you can walk to the bus station and wait. Yeah, You are waiting at the bus station and it's freezing cold outside during winter time, especially now we are going at winter. And then another thing I haven't told you, time is changing tomorrow. We are going, uh, will be two hours behind no german will be two hours behind in uh, kenya will be two hours ahead yeah time is changing tomorrow one thing so imagine you've, you've gone to a bus station at 4 50 and then the bus has like a problem so the bus will come at 5 30 or 5 32 it means 40 minutes will be outside in the cold and it's freezing my friends the cold in Germany is very wicked, yeah? Arthritis. <laughs> You're going to suffer with that arthritis. So make sure you have a car so that 
to avoid those uh, uh, arthritis. <laughs> you need a car so that you can move very easily. A car is essential. Another thing, a car will help you to move from one place to another. Like, you can decide to live, like, for example, living in the outskirts of any town is far away. And when you're working, if you have a nice job that they provide, like, a commuter allowance, like, they'll give you, like, uh, one euro per I think one euro per kilometer or 50 cent per kilometer it depends with the type of job you are working now if you are living in the village you're working in town they'll pay for your fuel like they give you allowance like 50 cent per kilometer or one euro per bro like a one euro 80 cent uh, uh, petrol can take you like at seven kilometers or eight kilometers yeah so it's good when you are living in the village you are paying house rent very cheap compared to people living in town so you can get a nice job in town while you are living in the village because they are giving you commuter allowance then use this commuter allowance to buy fuel now it'd be easy like you plan your your time from the village to town you can manage very easily like you don't have to wake up very early so that you can con connect like connecting from the village Connecting from the village to town, if you don't have a car, my friend, you'll suffer. You have to use like four trains or five buses from your place to the main uh, station, from the main station to the other station, from the other station now to your main job, my friend. <laughs> and then you have to walk like 10 minutes or five minutes. <laughs> you'll freeze. Oh. So a car is very important. Get yourself a nice car. Get yourself... Let someone buy you a car and then because the more you have the insurance, like when you have a friend and then they take an insur insurance for you, it's more easier than when you are new, uh, like when you are a learner, now you, you, are, you get an uh, insurance, it will be more expensive because they know you are still learning and making a mistake, <laughs> you'll make a lot of mistakes, yeah? It's, it's so easy making mistakes. So they know, that's why they charge a lot of, uh, a lot of money. You are, for a new driver on the road. But if you have a, like, experience for like five years, 10 years, yours is a, a little bit cheaper. In some places, in, not, not only in Germany, but in the UK, in the US, it's a little bit cheaper when you have experience, yeah? So get yourself a car and move easily and get a, a lot of the, like delivery jobs. Like the Glovo in, uh, it's called Volt. Volt is uh, like a food distributor. You can buy nyamachoma, not nyamachoma, but pizza, this fast food, in a restaurant and then they deliver at your doorstep very easily. You just enjoy. Yeah? But we have like delivery fee, but it's, it's uh, cheaper, like 4 euro, 3 euro, the uh, delivery fee. And, and like in Kenya, yeah? Like for me, I cannot order uh, something on Jumia. I have to go in town to pick it. They cannot bring it in my house, yeah? In Germany, they bring at your doorstep. You just, they cling and like uh, ring the bell. You come down, downstairs, you pick your stuff. You go back to your house. Yeah? So you need a car. And I'll see you on the next one. Pondy kiss. Bye-bye.